This section will cover creating the virtual machine template. Step 1. Sysprep the virtual machine using audit mode. Begin by right-clicking on the Start menu. Select Command Prompt Admin. Navigate to the Windows System32 sysprep directory and type sysprep. In the System Preparation tool, select Enter System Audit Mode on the drop-down. Put a check in Generalize and leave the Reboot option. You'll notice here that sysprep gave me an error that I wasn't expecting. If this occurs, I will want to review the log file that is specified in the error message. Within the log file, I will want to scroll down to the beginning of the error message. Here I can see that an application has been installed but not provisioned for all users. Windows has installed Twitter, which is not a necessary application. So what I'll want to do is remove the application using Windows PowerShell. In the Cortana search bar, I will want to type PowerShell. This will bring up the Windows PowerShell desktop application. Right-click and select Run as Administrator. I will now want to run the following command in the PowerShell command prompt. You'll notice that I am removing Twitter as it is listed between the asterisks. On your system, it might be a different application. You will want to check your log file for the offending application. I will also list this command in the video description below. Copy the command and paste it into the PowerShell window. The command will remove the offending application. Repeat this step for any additional applications listed in the sysprep log file. Once the offending applications have been removed, rerun sysprep in an elevated command prompt. Remember to select Audit Mode in the drop-down, Generalize, and leave the shutdown option at Reboot. Windows will now prepare your virtual machine. Once the virtual machine has been prepared, you will automatically be logged in as administrator. Leave the system preparation tool open. Step 2. Remove non-built-in user accounts. Right-click on the Start menu and select Computer Management. Select Local Users and Groups. Select Users. Right-click on any non-built-in user accounts and select Delete. Step 3. Sysprep using the Out-of-Box Experience option. In the System Preparation tool, leave the Enter System Out-of-Box Experience option selected. Check the Generalize box. Change the Shutdown option to Shutdown and click OK. Sysprep will now prepare the Windows installation for imaging. Step 4. Create a virtual machine snapshot. With the virtual machine shut down, right-click on the virtual machine, mouse over snapshot, and select Take Snapshot. Next, give the snapshot a logical name. You may also enter a description of the snapshot. Step 5. Enable Template Mode. Right-click on the virtual machine in the Virtual Machine Library. Select Settings. Select the Options tab. Select the Advanced option. Under Settings, place a check next to Enable Template Mode to be used for cloning. Step 6. Clone the VM template. Right-click on the virtual machine, mouse over Manage, and click on Clone. Now click Next. The snapshot that we created in the previous step should appear in the drop-down box. Click Next. 
You will want to select the Create Full Clone option, not the Create Linked Clone. The reason for this is that a linked clone shares the same hard drive with the parent virtual machine, which is not what we want. Now give the virtual machine a logical name and select a location to store the VM. Click on Finish. VMware will now clone the virtual machine. This will take a few minutes. The new virtual machine will show up in the virtual machine library. You can now power on the virtual machine and Windows will guide you through the setup process. You can repeat step six to create as many virtual machines as necessary. Thanks for joining me for this bcrypt tech tutorial. Please be on the lookout for more tutorials to come.